Day 19 of the Radio Free Scarrow Fluid Links Advent Calendar. This one comes from WhoFX on Twitter. The question is, what is the BBC's second best science fiction series of all time? You're allowed to say Doctor Who, but then you have to say which is the best. Ooh. <laughs> Does Hitchhikers count? Hitchhikers could count. It is It is indeed a science mm. fiction series, and you could call well, it's it. It's not BBC's. It is BBC's. No, 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 no. I'm saying the one, my favorite one is not the BBC. Oh, I see. Well, the question is, what's your what's the best BBC one? Yeah, BBC. Mm-hmm. It's got to be BBC. That's what I'm saying, because instantly I thought The Prisoner, but that's not BBC. That's not BBC. No. no. Neither is Star Trek. I'd, 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 I wouldn't that. even say it's sci-fi. Uh, no, I don't I wouldn't. Uh, you're saying Hitchhikers, Chris. I think Hitchhikers <laughs> just leaps to mind as my second favorite, mostly because I've watched it a bajillion times. And indeed, like probably recently too, No. Uh, not as yet. As, as as of time of recording, I've still yet to cr- um, crack the plastic oh, on the Blu-ray. It's good stuff. Sitting on the I shelf, one, but I think this is BBC. Life on Mars, the original British version. None of this American crap. It uh, is BBC. Yes, that is BBC. And it is stellar. It's pretty good. Second best, right? You know wow. what, uh-huh. Warren? I don't know if you've ever watched it, or or if you have, if you haven't yet given it a second chance. But Ashes to Ashes, I've heard it's good. I couldn't get into better, it at first, but better than Life on Mars. I'm trying to think of old sci-fi because there's got to be something that I'm missing yeah. here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so, we, so we've had votes for um, Hitchhikers and Life on Mars. Was um, was some of the Nigel Neal stuff? Was that BBC? Like, yeah, Pitterness? yeah, it was. Yeah, it's BBC. Yeah, have you seen it? You're gonna say Star I've Cops? Never, I've never is seen Star any Cops of BBC? it. But. Yeah, Star Cops is BBC. Of course, Star Cops is BBC. Only the BBC makes high quality content yeah, like Star true. Cops, Warren. Come on. <laughs> Red Dwarf is up there. It's pretty high up there. Oh, Some cool. of the seasons of Red Dwarf yeah. are up there. Mm-hmm. Dang, never. I completely forgot about Red Dwarf. Yeah, Red that, Dwarf. That, totally, that totally. But not all of Red Dwarf. In fact, ironically, the seasons where they lurch more towards sci fi and away from comedy are the crap ones. The ones that are great are the more comedy ones. Yeah. Late, lately, I've been watching some uh, Red Dwarf for the first time in years. Um, like the older stuff, like seasons three and four kind of thing. Three, four, and I five w- are stellar. And then from there, it's downhill. Like I watched uh, after, after um, however many weeks ago it was now that uh, Kerblam aired. I watched Time Slides a couple Which days afterward. Just That's because? because tension, or? Well, oh, the, the tension, tension sheets, sheet. you know, bubble wrap thing. Yeah. Um, One of my personal favorite lines of all time and is where where the, uh, some AI asks uh, Lister what is it, what his job is, and he takes a pause and he goes, boom. boom. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. It's just so well-timed. Oh, And I have to say the new series are great. Like, they're really good because they went back into comedy. Uh-huh. And those guys Dave? just have such yeah. great chemistry with each other. I, yeah. I like the stuff from that, that Dave was produced. Yeah, no, totally. Red Dwarf second it has to be. Has wow, to be. Red Dwarf second. Yeah, I'd say Red Dwarf yeah. above Life on Mars, to be honest. But Life on Mars is, is up there, for sure. I I would, uh, this is biased. This is my own personal favorite. So uh, I'm going to say Tripods because I loved the Tripods so much. And when the Tripods first aired, I was into the Tripods more than I was Doctor Who for a brief time. As in, like, I remember going on vacation for a week, and I told my friend, here are two videotapes. This one is to record the tripods. This one is to record Doctor Who. Now, I had seen Doctor Who, but I was compiling the the big VHS catalog at the time. But I even said to him, if you have to miss one, miss Doctor Who. That was a big thing for me. (laughs) Miss Doctor Who. Guess what he missed? He missed the tripods. tripods. He missed mm. the tripods. It was a monumental episode that I did not see until it finally came out on DVD like 20 years later. Uh, I, I saw that Doctor Who episode like three weeks after that. Um, <laughs> so it was always the one that got away was the tripods. I would say tripods. I like Star Cops. I can't really think of any other BBC science fiction series that I'm sure who because they were pretty sparing about their science well, fiction stuff. It wasn't like the BBC was a sci-fi factory. Really. Who FX wants us to mention something, but I just can't. 